Hi everyone. It is still January 14, 2015, and I want to thank my subscribers for sending me this article, which is actually pretty old. 2009, it was posted. Hulu, a quantum leap in electronic mind control and manipulation. All right, I'm going to read this. I'm going to go through several pieces. I will link below to everything. Very important information for everybody to circulate. Hulu is the new digital high-definition interface between home computers and television networks. They would like you to believe this is all wonderful and completely free. Don't be fooled. Nothing is free. Vaccines? No. What is free in this country is dangerous. Okay, somebody is paying billions of dollars to bring this technology home to you. Hulu. What is Hulu? A digital streaming video that allows anybody with a personal computer hooked to the internet to access and watch popular television programs. Who funded this free service? The U.S. military and intelligence agencies. Primarily. Why? Ostensibly so the military and other civilian contractors can now access American programming anywhere on the planet. How was the name Hulu formed? On December 3rd, 2002, U.S. Patent 6488617 was issued to a man named Hendricks or Hendricks, nicknamed Who for short, Lou, Hendricks Lou. You, you pronounce the name without the S. Could this be the reason for calling this Who Lou? Lou's patent abstract describes using computer monitors and HDTV screens as broadcast medium for digital pulse electronic fields capable of exciting sensory resonances in nearby human subjects while the displayed images are pulsed with subliminal intensity to bring about a specific emotional and even physical response in humans viewing the medium. These electromagnetic fields are capable of mind control programming of specific individuals. It is even possible to cause physical illnesses by this method, including flu symptoms, heart attacks, or strokes. Now, I, I will link below to the patent. Here it is, method and device for producing a desired brain state. That's right. The present, excuse me, invention relates to monitoring and altering an individual's brain state. More particularly, the present invention is directed to the continuous real-time alteration of the brain state from a less desirable to a more desirable state through the use of multiple magnetic fields and a system monitoring the effect of the fields. So. This is a very interesting patent. I will link below to it, and I hope you come over here and check it out. Um, <laughs> you know, we have something seriously wrong in this country, and it, that people are just um, utterly clueless, and they consider now critical thinking something to be shamed. Um, research is something that people actually think is weird doing research. People just, adults, simply shutting down all adult communication by just saying you're a conspiracy theorist and then running away, acting like they're in seventh grade. Most adults in this country are acting like they're in seventh grade. And they can't seem to see the obvious. And then you have those who actually do see it and they just don't care. They, they, what we're seeing today is very different from what we saw prior to 9-11. I kind of demarcate that, our time, you know, post and pre-9-11. Because something, something really drastic occurred after 9-11. And I saw it actually with newscasters. You know, I, I was always a news buff. I always watched the news, you know, different um, cable and, and network news shows, 
Um, I was constantly reading the news. I've been a news person all my adult life. Um, and, you know, I used to watch, um, oh, God, now I can't even remember his name. The guy on, uh, wow. Okay, my memory is shot. I can see his face, and I don't really want to see his face. Hardball. Come on. Oh, Chris Matthews. Wow. So I used to watch Hardball prior to 9-11, and it was actually a pretty good show. It was rather incisive, you know, it, people didn't jump all over one another, people weren't acting like they were all immature, um, and, and suddenly after 9-11, I noticed this rapid decline, not only in Chris Matthews, but all of them. They were acting like they were in seventh grade, like laughing at guests and insulting guests and interrupting one another and shouting and screaming and making inane statements. I couldn't believe what I was watching, but it was across the board. So as far as I was concerned, it was that the, the, there was something that went askew. And I know how dangerous these frequencies are. And I've done a tremendous amount of research on mind control and the frequencies and all these patents. And I'm sorry that I don't have my old channel because I could back up what I'm saying by simply saying it's on my channel and you can go look. I don't have my old channel, so I can't do that. But it is true. They can use these frequencies to alter people's brains, their brain state, their emotional state, their, their um, physiological state. They can induce illness, physical, mental, spiritual. They can cause people to behave in certain ways. So Hulu. How many people have Hulu? I don't, I don't have Hulu. I don't, I don't, I didn't even know what it was. You know, um, I'm very behind in all of this, these latest and greatest. I, I, I have not even tweeted, but these electromagnetic fields are capable of mind control programming. They can cause physical illnesses, like inducing flu symptoms, heart attacks, strokes. A specific digital frequency can be custom designed to be sent to the end user of Hulu to produce a specified physical event. All that is needed for the computer to design this frequency is a sample of the victim's DNA. So, questions. Can latent designer flu and other killer viruses be activated by means of Hulu in civilian populations? Can Hulu interface with Langley's master promise AI artificial intelligence computer to work harmoniously with drone spy bots and robots via computer screens or selected on selected individuals? individuals. Will this be the Department of Homeland Security's primary tool to quell civilian unrest when the U.S. banking system is collapsed? Is this why over 20% of the new digital bandwidth was given to the Department of Homeland Security in the name of public safety, i.e. crowd control? I just want to, you know, remind everybody that Obama actually, <laughs> he campaigned on broadening access to broadband, and he's doing it again. He's trying to get broadband to every, every person, higher speed internet. And he's going to be subsidizing, you know, rural communities so that they can be hooked up to this fast and cheap broadband internet. All right, all of that, nothing is free in this country. So you have to question, why is he doing this? He's doing it because they're wanting those frequencies in that in those areas where they don't have the high speed internet so that they can mind control everybody. Look, it's hard for me to do <laughs> videos on this subject because I come from that that network of people who think anything outside of mainstream thought is crazy. And so here I am, <laughs> clearly crazy, because I do not have mainstream thought. But 
Um, this is really pretty amazing, and I will link to this video below. Alec Baldwin, TV turns human brain to mush. I'm not going to play this because of copyright, but this is a creepy commercial, and apparently it was um, aired uh, for the Super Bowl in 2009, and it starts with Alec Baldwin right here at the uh, base of the H, and then he goes into a secret door, and hes it's so bizarre. He's talking about how, oh, people think TV rots your brain, and then he kind of chuckles, and he goes, no, but it softens the brain, like a ripe banana. And then he says things like, it, it turns brains into mushy mush, and you get to see in this video um, a screen almost like an x-ray of, of some guy's brain and it's green and it's all like kind of, uh, it's like a gel and it's moving around. And he says something like, um, once your brain is reduced to cottage cheese, we'll scoop it, we'll scoop them out with a melon baller and gobble them right up. And then at the end, he's talking about where aliens and a snake comes out of his um, suit. I mean, it is so an evil plot to destroy the world. Enjoy Hulu. Okay? Well, I don't know. What, what do you make of this? Um, it is really rather... I talk about putting it in our face. So the writer of this article says, this commercial is not funny. I personally have witnessed victims of satanic ritual abuse testify in hypnotic regression sessions that demon reptili reptilians appear in the center of the pentagon or the pentagram at the point of human sacrifice. And based on hierarchical positions, sorry, I'm having a hard time talking. The frequencies are really getting me, by the way. Um, but are given the best human delicacies to consume with eager anticipation. The number one delicacy, you guessed it, folks, the brain. Number two, the heart, bowels, and viscerals in that order. This isn't funny when one understands the technology for completely controlling the human brain, and they do have it. This is true. If you don't believe me, please do the research. Don't just go on your opinion, because if you think your opinion is fact, if you, you think your, your opinion is the, holds the same weight as research, facts, and evidence, then you have been mind-controlled. And please kind of slap yourself out of it. Um, but yeah, this does in fact exist today. It isn't funny that many of the news shows broadcast over Hulu center on human mind control and programming. So here's a little bit of the actual patent in the article. And um, I will link below to this. It is, I, I, considering what we are facing today, that we can't have adult conversation, that so many people are behaving in ways that we really didn't see before. With, with the breakdown of uh, morality, something's happening. Something is definitely happening. And I do think that it's the frequencies. And that poses a really big problem for all of us. Hmm. Thank you for watching. Again, everything is linked to below. Please circulate it and have a great night. Ciao, guys.